This is a CAV dynamo control box. It's a type 202B and these were used to control the dynamo on a lot of old 1950s and 1960s trucks such as the Bedford RL and the Green Goddess. This box left the factory configured to work on a 12 volt system but the same box was also configurable to work on a 24 volt system. This box controls the field current to the dynamo using this terminal here. This is the field current connection marked F and the main dynamo current connection marked D is this one here. And then there's a connection to the battery live terminal and there's also a connection to the pilot light. Now these boxes contain voltage and current regulation coils. This is the voltage and current regulation system here and it also has the battery cutout which is this main contact here and this is the contact which when it opens and closes gives the reassuring clunk um, as you increase the revs. And that clunk is the contact closing and connecting the battery to the dynamo. Now a common fault with these boxes is for certain of the terminal pairs or rather the contact pairs that exist on this voltage and current regulator to fur up and this seems to happen when the boxes are left for any period of time um, without being used. And what happens is that those contacts fur up to the point that in their normally closed condition they cease to conduct and then the whole box stops working. Now without going to the lengths of dismantling this assembly which the instruction books tell you how to do it's possible to clean these contacts using a little bit of abrasive paper um, and I found that doing that in every case that I've encountered so far gets the box up and working. So this particular example here, this box is one of a number of new old stock boxes that I acquired a few years ago and I connected one of those up onto one of the trucks and found out that it didn't work and at that stage I hadn't realised that even though these boxes were new old stock the fact that they'd sat around for a long time meant that the contacts inside had furred up. So um, what I've done here is taken the lid off the box and I've cleaned up these contacts. There's a pair of contacts which are in here and then there's another pair of contacts over on this side here cleaned them up with some abrasive paper and I've actually also cleaned them up with a little bit of metal cleaner to dissolve um, any re residues of um, oxide or carbonate or whatever it is that forms on these contact surfaces. And now I've set the box up to try to test the functionality of it before I put it back on the shelf as a working spare. Now I've set up a little configuration here involving a small lead acid battery and a DC power supply and I'm going to explain that now. Okay so what I have here is a small lead acid battery which is connected up, its positive terminal is connected up to the B terminal on the control box. The negative that's connected through this wire to the earth connection on the box and then I've connected the dynamo connection through to the terminal, the output terminal on a variable voltage DC power supply. So I've got that DC power supply down here and currently the DC power supply is not outputting any voltage. So this is effectively behaving as if the dynamo is stationary and I've connected a voltmeter across the lead acid battery and that's showing about 12 volts at the moment. Um, in the circuit from the battery to the control box I've also put an ammeter in there just to make sure that 
when the control box starts to activate I can keep an eye on the current, although it shouldn't be too large in this configuration here. So what I, my, what I can now do is increase the output voltage from the control box just by winding up There we are, and we find that at about 14.5 volts the contacts here have clunked closed and now the dynamo, as it were, is connecting and feeding some power into the battery. So that contact closed, let's wind the voltage back down and the contacts open again. I'm going to do that a bit more slowly and try and note the voltage at which the contacts close. So, yeah, that's closed. They've closed at about 13 volts, thereabouts. And so, although that doesn't show that the box is entirely functional. It doesn't, we, we haven't tested, for example, the field output on the box. Nevertheless, I'm satisfied that that box is likely to be um, operational, so now that can go away on the shelf and um, be used if and when the need arises.